I have bought 10 of the coolest Xbox accessories that don't break the bank with cheap and reasonable prices ranging from as low as $5 and a few higher items as well. These are all going to be great additions to your gaming setup and definitely worth checking out. Let's first start with these super cheap USB hubs. They cost around $10 and are actually really awesome. So inside this little box, I've got two different variations of this USB hub. You can see they're really tiny. Basically, we've got one in black and also one in white for obviously the Series X and Series S. But check this out. When you install this onto the front of the Xbox Series S, it fits perfectly for the width of the console. You see that right there? It's really clean how it sits on the front because the biggest drawback of the Series S is just one USB port on the front and also you only have two at the back. So you've got a lot of accessories, you know, for example, you've got some stuff for charging your controllers, then you've got like, like a steering wheel, a flight stick or something like that. Having to plug these in now, it's really annoying. So this expands the front of your console so you've just got a little bit more versatility so you can throw charger ports in and do whatever you want without needing to root around the back of the console, but it still looks super tidy. But then also there's the same benefit fit for your Xbox Series X with the black one. Obviously, it's a little bit smaller, so it doesn't look as super cool with it being the full width, but it still ties in perfectly. Just look at that. You got that nice little USB hub on the front, keeps everything nice and clean. For around $10, these are 100% worth it and definitely help make your life a little bit easier. While we're on the topic of using USB ports, right here, I have got a cheap alternative to a pro controller. Now, at first, they don't look like too much. They just look like some standard Xbox controllers until we actually open them up and take a look at the back. <laughs> Why has this box got so many seals? You've got a seal here, a seal there, a seal there, and then a final seal there. Why has it got, why has it got so many? Why like just one would be okay. Oh, that looks nice. Look at that cool pattern. So these cost only $20. And on the back of the controller, as you can see here, we have these two mappable buttons. Basically, you hold this button down and then you can like press whatever button you want and then you can map it to that, those back paddles. So this gives you like that pro controller functionality. So it's like a standard Xbox controller that you can play with. Then you have your rear paddles there for like your jump, reload, whatever you want to sort of control. Then like Call of Duty, Fortnite, or whatever it is that you're playing. But you don't like spend a fortune on just that simple functionality because that's all you want from a pro controller. Sure, you know, it hasn't got the removable thumbsticks and all that type of stuff, but mostly like 90% of people, that's all they want are the back paddles. So this sort of facilitates that for you. Furthermore, we've obviously got a, a jack for your headphone, which is pretty standard, but it has a cool little volume control dial on the front. So you can like turn it up, you can turn it down, you can press it in to mute and unmute your microphone which works really nicely. And let's also appreciate this beautiful sort of like metallic paint job that it has. This camo looks unbelievable. Now, if for whatever reason you're not a fan of this color scheme, they do come in a huge range of different options. Some of the nicest looking controllers like I found on Amazon, to be honest. And this is another example, very similar to the new high velocity green, like the official Xbox controller that just came out. But as well, even with the camo design, you can get those in like red and silver and all sorts of different cool stuff. Oh. <laughs> that was a bit extreme. Uh, but this is obviously a nice little green version, but it has a, a really nice finish to it. Like, it feels almost like a rubbery plastic. It's really nice and grippy. I could find that really comfortable playing quite a long time with. Now, obviously, these are wired controllers, which again, if you're a pro gamer, you'll actually quite like because of the response time of, a, of using a wired over wireless. So you don't have any form of wireless capabilities, which means you don't need to charge them or anything like that. So it, it works really well for $20. Now, this next accessory isn't really something that you use with your console, but something you can maybe throw on your desk to pimp up the setup. By far, this is the coolest thing that I've bought in this entire video. It's like a 12 inch statue or like a minifigure of Master Chief. Unreal. This thing was only $15. Mate, $15 for a 12 inch statue with a gun and everything. I can't even get out the box though. Look at that. That looks class. Oh my God. It's bloody huge. I feel like a kid again. Like I used to have this huge Spider-Man statue when I was a kid, but my brother bought it when he went on holiday to like some random like European country. And it was called like Spain, Spain a man or something. I think he'd been to Spain. <laughs> so it was like Spain a man. It was like a fake one. Uh, but this is so cool. Look at that. So we've got Master Chief from uh, Halo Infinite right here. Absolutely enormous statue. Got all the official stuff, you know, 117, everything like that. Plus he also has a rifle to go with with his outfit here. Oh, it goes on his back. There we go, it goes on his back. There we go, that looks awesome. So something like this could sit really well next to your Xbox console, whether that be on your desk setup or just in your gaming room. And it just lets you sort of level up your room without spending an absolute fortune on various different accessories and statues. The overall detail on the Master Chief is pretty good and it has a really nice wow factor. So if your friends sort of come around and they see this huge Master Chief next to your Xbox Series X, it's sort of like, wow, that's really cool and you haven't had to spend like hundreds and hundreds of dollars of something of this caliber. <laughs> I really like it. I think it looks really good. I, I, I'm going to keep that. I'm going to have it on my desk. 
Next, let's take a look at a pretty reasonably priced gaming headset that costs around $40. Now, these are the Astro A10s. Now, for that price mark, I feel like you get very good build quality for what you're paying for. Now, by far the best features of these headphones are not only the aesthetics, they look super duper cool with like all of the exposed wires and all that type of stuff and the ear cups with the nice design. It's actually the sizing and comfort of them. The way they adjust is really nice. You see how I've got these little measurements here so you can like adjust the measurements. And I feel like if you have quite a small head, this is probably one of the best fitting headphones for people with a really small head. It's for one of like your little, your little pea head <laughs> that you might have. So this like pops on and fits great. A lot of the other headphones, I remember my Steel Series Artis 3s, that's what they were. Uh, those those didn't even fit my head. And, and like, you know, I'm an adult and they were, I had them on the smallest setting and they were still loose. Whereas these would be perfect for like a child's head. But obviously they adjust out nicely too to accommodate for, you know, if you've got a big, huge head too. But probably the best feature beyond the fitting is actually the way they've designed the ear cups and also the headband. So a lot of headsets these days have like a, a pleather for the earphones. It's like a pleather, like a fake leather, sort of like plasticky ear cup type material, which I always find gets really hot and sweaty when you sort of wear them for like an hour or so. It's like you, your ears get red and hot and like you can't get comfortable. Whereas this is like a nice old fashioned fabric, it's a nice standard fabric that you get like on more professional music production headphones. So that means this fabric just is really cool when you actually wear it, like it feels, just re really nice temperature wise and yet your ears don't get red hot and, and like things aren't getting all sticky. So I quite like it from that, that perspective. And then in addition to this, because this isn't a fancy wireless headset, it's just a good old wired one, it keeps the weight down. It's nice and lightweight. Like I have quite a few wireless gaming headphones uh, and because of all of like the stuff, like all the stuff built into them so they can be wireless and like all the volume dials on the headphones, they do get a little bit heavy and you end up getting like a sore sort of top of your head when you wear them for like two, three hours when you're gaming like all evening. Whereas this is just, nice and light. Now also inside the box, you do get a couple extra accessories. So you can use this on other systems. So of course it's compatible with the Xbox Series S and X, but because it is just wired, it works with your PS5, you know, your Switch, your mobile, your PC, whatever, anything with a headphone jack basically. So you get these additional cables here, just a standard 3.5 millimeter jack that has a little volume dial on, which you'll plug straight into your Xbox controller. And then you also get a nice splitter cable for when you use this on your gaming PC. So you can throw this into your motherboard and have your headset and microphone phone audio separate. But obviously to go with your headset, you're also going to want a headset holder. Now for around $20, you can pick up this Xbox light, which like illuminates your desk and also acts as a convenient place through your headphones. Because I don't know about you, but when I, I have my headphones on my desk, they're always in the way when I'm not using them. I don't really have anywhere convenient to place them. Whereas with something like this, you can use them to obviously keep your headphones nicely stored up and off the desk. And then also it acts as a cool light for the actual setup. And as you can see, when it's turned on, it looks really, really cool. The headset holder itself, the light is powered by a micro USB cable, so you can throw it into a power plug or into like a USB hub to illuminate it. And it does have two different light modes, which you can access via a switch on the back. And this will basically like adjust the brightness of the overall lights. Other holders that you may find quite convenient is this little $5 controller holder. Now this isn't like the traditional controller holders that you've seen me use on the channel in the past, such as the Master Chief ones and the Call of Duty Ghost ones. Those cost around sort of 15 to 20 uh, bucks or pounds, uh, depending on uh, which variation you purchase, like which, which license it is. But this is something a little bit different. It's an under the desk mount. So basically this mounts underneath your desk and then you can slide your controller into it. So again, it keeps things off of the surface of your main desk. If you've got to do your homework, some schoolwork or, or something like that, or, like, or some work for uh, whatever with your laptop or, or things like that, it keeps the overall desk nice and clean. So as you can see, basically via the thumbsticks, you just slide the thumbsticks into the little tray. And then this will basically hang the, the controller up off underneath the desk. Next, we have a really cool accessory for anybody who is interested in Xbox Cloud Gaming. Now this little device here basically allows you to turn your mobile phone, specifically an Android phone, into a portable gaming tablet. So this here is the Razer Kishi. And basically in a nutshell, it's like these two little plastic controllers that like pack away nice and neatly that you can then pull out like so and slide your Android phone into them with a little via, via the Type-C connection port here. And then you can use your Android phone as the display and then use these as the controllers within the Xbox Cloud Gaming app. Now we did actually recently do a video all about Xbox Cloud Gaming where I tried it on the world's fastest internet. You should check out that video here. And I actually did that video with the Logitech G Cloud, which is a kind of a similar product, but more of a complete version of this. So you obviously it comes with the screen. It's an all-in-one device and it runs Android OS. So it's basically like a tablet and all that type of stuff. So 
this is more of a complete thing, but that keeps things separate. Because the biggest problem with something like the Razer Kishi is the battery life. You're still using your phone. So if you're out and about traveling with your phone or whatever, and you throw it in, you're going to waste loads of battery life playing games on that and then and so on. But it is a nice little solution that throws away in your backpack nice and easily. Now, there is also a variation of this made by Backbone that is for the iPhone. So that's a little bit more expensive, more like $100. Whereas this isn't badly priced. It's around $35, $40 if you pick it up at the right time of year. Now, this next one's a big one, and I'm quite excited for this one. So you could argue this is a little bit on the higher end of the price mark, around $70 to $75. But for its category of product that it sort of competes against, it's a nice budget alternative and an entry point into a particular titles such as racing games, if that's something that you're interested in. So this right here is the Thrustmaster Ferrari 458 Spider version for the Xbox. They have a couple other versions for the PlayStation as well, but the Xbox one has the uh, red steering wheel. Now I actually owned the old version of this way back in my youth when it was like the PS3 version and for PC, it was really good for the price point. I spent hours and hours on it playing like F1 2011 and so on. And I think they are an amazing entry point to this sort of category of product because most steering wheels, you know, for a half decent one, you're spending like, 200, 250 pounds, then upwards, you know, you can go absolutely nuts. So inside of the box, you've obviously got the steering wheel, then you've got the table clamp, and then a pretty cheap set of pedals. There's nothing crazy going on in these pedals. They're the same pedals that, that were on the old version when I was a kid. But the good thing about these pedals is, because they haven't got like a super tough brake, you can just sort of use them on the floor much easier than having to have like a big simulator and stuff like that. Now, the reason why steering wheels like this are much cheaper is because they don't have any form of actual force feedback inside of them. Things like the like Logitech, what is it, G23 or G29 or something like that. And like the oh, the more expensive Thrustmaster TXs and things like that. Those actually have active like belt driven force feedback inside of them. So like you actually get like, ooh, you know, like it goes crazy. Whereas these cheaper steering wheels are like almost on like, I don't know how to describe it, like a rubber band type sensation. Basically like there's this friction on there to make it feel like there's some form of force that you have to make. So it's much better than a controller because when you're playing racing games, you can actually be accurate with your steering input, which is the most important thing, especially things like F1, because those are so hard with a controller. But what I like particularly about this Thrustmaster stuff is it's all licensed with Ferrari. So you, know, you get like a cool Ferrari steering wheel, got this nice rubber texture that's nice to grip. Then obviously you get like a 458 Italia type steering wheel. So all of these, like your Xbox buttons, your pause stuff, start, start engine and all that is your, your D-pad, you see that's really cool, like really well designed. And then this acts as like your pause and home button type stuff when you toggle that. Just a reminder, I do have all of the products mentioned in this video, linked down below in the video description. This will be a dead easy and convenient way for you to check them out and also support the channel if you use any of those links. Furthermore, these are the places where I actually purchase all of my products from for my videos and they often have the best prices and deals on and sales. So they're definitely worth checking out to see if you can grab yourself a bargain. So the next products are a little bit unexpected and that's a mouse and keyboard for your Xbox Series X, Series S and one Xbox One or whatever, basically any, any current generation sort of Xbox console. Now you may not know that you can play a lot of titles with a mouse and keyboard on your Xbox. Things like Halo Infinite, Call of Duty, Call of Duty Warzone, uh, even Fortnite. All of these games work perfectly fine with a mouse and keyboard, just as if you are playing them on a gaming PC. Now I've done a bunch of videos in the past showcasing this over the last few years and how it's improved and the different things you can do to get the best possible experience. And especially for people who are sort of in need of a PC upgrade, but you know, don't wanna spend like hundreds and you know, almost thousands of dollars on like the latest graphics cards and CPUs and things like that, they can pick up something like the Xbox Series S, use that as a little bit of like an in-between console and still get that sort of satisfaction of using a mouse and keyboard. Now a great bundle option for a reasonably priced mouse and keyboard to do this on your Xbox are these ones right here by Logitech. This is like the cheapest gaming mouse that, uh, that Logitech make and also one of their cheapest keyboards to accompany that. And all in for both of these items, you can easily pick these up for like a, probably around $75, including both the mouse and the keyboard. Like sometimes the mouse alone is around like 19, 20 ish dollars if it's on like sale or something like that. Now in the past, I have recommended much cheaper bundles off of Amazon for around 30 to 45 pounds. Yeah, but they're from like random Chinese brands that you don't really know. But if you want something from like a actually trusted brand that you sort of you know and, and know and love these ones from logitech are a great option because the great thing about these is they offer a level of like future proofing if you were to then move from xbox over to a gaming 
gaming PC, you could take these with you and then get the most out of like all of the light sync features and the Logitech G hub and all that type of stuff where you can like map much more fancy things to your keyboard and you know you can keep that same ecosystem. Another thing to bear in mind when choosing your mouse and keyboard for your Xbox is that there's no point in spending like $100 on a pro mouse and $300 on a pro keyboard because you can't use get the most out of those pro features with the Xbox because the Xbox can't run all of those additional apps for like all of your macros and your DPI this and DPI that, your RGB effects. It's literally just a box standard keyboard as soon as you plug it into your Xbox. So you may as well just get like a nice cheap wired uh, keyboard and a wired mouse, throw it straight into your console, adjust all your mouse settings and so forth and key bindings within the actual game itself because that's all you can do and then you're good to go. You've saved yourself an absolute fortune off some really pro stuff that your Xbox couldn't really utilize. Now these were some of the cheapest Xbox accessories but if you want to see me unbox some of the strangest Xbox products ever made, you should check out this video next because some of them are wild.